Charles Dickens. Scholars have long suggested that English writer Charles Dickens suffered from severe depression, perhaps even bipolar disorder, throughout his life. Julius Caesar. In what is perhaps the most enduring diagnosis of a mental disorder among prominent historical figures, many have long believed that Roman Emperor Julius Caesar suffered from epilepsy. And while that may still be true, definitive diagnoses in cases from the BC era are of course difficult, new scholarship suggests that he may have actually suffered from small strokes instead, in addition to vertigo. Napoleon Bonaparte it's easy to see how many could suspect that some of history's most powerful leaders were fueled by clinical narcissism. And when attempting to actually diagnose said leaders with narcissistic personality disorder (NPD), why not start with Napoleon? Indeed, some current scholarship suggests that the notoriously megalomaniacal French conqueror likely had NPD. Ludwig van Beethoven Contemporary reports in the New England Journal of Medicine and the British Journal of Psychiatry now suggest that German composer Ludwig van Beethoven suffered from bipolar disorder. These journals even suggest that one can hear Beethoven's dramatic swings from suicidal depression to frenzied mania in the dramatic swings in dynamics and tempo in the man's music. Winston Churchill British Prime Minister Winston Churchill referred to his recurring bouts with depression as his black dog. But his physician, Lord Moran, took note of Churchill's depression, as well as his mania, suicidal thoughts, and sleeplessness, and made a more official diagnosis, bipolar disorder. Muammar al-Qaddafi. An early 1980s CIA study cited by Bob Woodward's Vale claims that Libyan dictator Muammar al-Qaddafi had borderline personality disorder. It remains somewhat unclear, however, whether the CIA used that term in its clinical sense, a mental disorder characterized by unstable moods, behavior, and relationships, or more loosely to refer to someone who simply, as Woodward writes, alternated between crazy and non-crazy behavior. Ernest Hemingway be it in biographies or medical journals, many writers have long stated that American author Ernest Hemingway suffered from clinical depression, perhaps coupled with bipolar disorder and even borderline and narcissistic personality traits. Coupled with alcohol dependence and a traumatic brain injury, Hemingway frequently sank into long periods of depression before ultimately committing suicide at 61 in 1961. Isaac Newton while it's understandably difficult to diagnose a man who died in the 1720s, many contemporary writers and medical journals have suggested that English scientist Isaac Newton suffered from bipolar disorder. Those who subscribe to this theory point to Newton's swings between periods of enraged mania, such as when he threatened to burn his parents' house down with them inside it, and wallowing depression including delusions and hallucinations. Virginia Woolf English author Virginia Woolf's battles with severe depression and bipolar disorder are well documented in both biographic and medical literature from the The American Journal of Psychiatry and elsewhere. According to the journal, Woolf experienced mood swings from severe depression to manic excitement and episodes of psychosis, all of which landed her in an institution for a time and informed her bouts of suicidal thoughts. Leo Tolstoy Scholars writing in the International Journal of Psychoanalysis and elsewhere have long suggested that Russian writer Leo Tolstoy dealt with clinical depression. After writing War and Peace, the journal reads, his existence had been torn apart by a serious depression. This depression, which was melancholic in character, almost destroyed him and, once he had finished Anna Karenina, led him to want to renounce not only sexuality but also literary creation and material possessions.